Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xana520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons Linked. In the last episode, we uh, completed the Ancient Ruins dungeon, and we then went off to help the Pyrations with their bell problem. And in this episode, we are back here in Labrina to tell a secret to Mayor Plen. But in order to do that, we need to be in the present. And there was a portal right next to me that I probably should have taken. But whatever. Mayor Plen's house is up here. Right here, where the mailbox used to be. Or the post office, I guess. So, head back into the present. And have a word with Mayor Plen. I am Plen, the mayor here in Linus City. Did you need me for something? Yes, I did. Let's see here. We need to do right up pound. It's a minus. Capital R. It's from the oddly dressed out of towner. Thank you for your kindness. Please accept this. You got a ring! Get it appraised later. Remember, it needs appraisal. Of course it does. So let's hop over to Vasu Jewelers. And we can also get our new ring secret to transfer these rings back to... Holodrum. This is the spin ring. Double spin attack. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. Let's take a look at this ring real quick. List. Let's grab... Spin ring. And show this off. No, I don't want... Nope, nope, nope. Thank you. Goodbye. Also, let's get our ring secret here. Can you stop leaving your pencil on the other table? Now, something I need to adjust for is that we're going to have to go do the Hero's Cave in order to get all the rings, or all the secrets. Because as it turns out, one of our secrets is actually inside the Hero's Cave, and I don't really want to wait until... It's a four now. I don't want to have to wait until we're done with a level four to go get that. Wow, this really changed. Holy crap. Capital F. T. Dollar sign. Tilde. N. Uh, no thank you. Come back any time. Yes, we shall do that. However, I think we're done with the rings. So, back to Holodrum. And here we are, back in Holdrum. So, let us quickly... Well, we can't quickly. Quickly make our way back to the Pyrations. So that we can give the captain his bell back. And there's a very interesting cutscene that's coming up here. Now, in the official timeline... Official in quotation marks. Ages actually comes before seasons. So this is technically, for all intents and purposes, the official timeline, but there's some events that happen in seasons ages that beg to differ. But anyway, come in here and let's give the captain his bell. Hey, you brought me bell? Thank you. Let's take a gander. Arr, there's no mistake in it. This bell is full of memories, but that don't mean they're all good. Now I'm all pensive. It's not like me. We're off, mateys, to sea! What a beautiful sound. That voice, could it be? Captain, am I dreaming? I've been on an eye-opening journey through time, but never did I expect to meet you again, especially here. Ambry? 
Nay, tis I that must be dreaming. I never thought we'd meet again after so long. Even now, when I think of our parting, it pains my heart. Uh, oh, that's not... <laughs> that's the captain! <laughs> Though many years have gone by since then, you are as beautiful as ever. Nay, you are unchanged. Every bit... No. Oh. Stop it! <laughs> if not a little thin. Ambi, I would stay here with you if I could, but... You need not explain. I understand. You are a seafaring man and cannot live your life on land. So I shall be your port of call, waiting always for your return. Oh, Ambi. Oh, Captain. Arr, set sail, mateys. Aye, aye, sir. Wrong voices abound. <laughs> oh, well. Now reporting, Captain. The ship's all fixed. We can set sail any time. To the ship! He's got no back sprites. Guess I didn't expect to need them. Aye, we're off, mateys! Anchors away! I love this theme. It's the same theme as the Sea of No Return. Captain! Desert dead ahead! Hold her steady to sea, mateys! But it's impossible! Fool! It's do or die! We'll make it if we give her all we got! Aye, aye, sir! Help us all! We made it, Captain! The sea! By Jolly Roger! Aye! Go, mateys! This is it! Aye, aye, sir! Arr! The sea is truly me home! Me hearts come alive. I sound the bell. I could totally re-record that cutscene with Bambi if I wanted to, but I don't care enough. Ooh, um. I don't feel so good. Oh, uh. I've been on land so long, I I got seasick. Ooh, um. It's no use. Think about it. We ain't sailed since we died. You call yourselves pirates, shameful fools. Getting sick the moment you set sail. It's ooh, um. It's no use. Put her ashore. Uh, aye, aye, sir. And the ship just happens to dock right on that broken bridge to the west of Horn Village. Oh, set anchor. Aye, we gotta get our sea legs. We'll rest here a bit. <laughs> so... Oh wait, there's a ring there. How do I know that's a ring? Because I've played this game a million times already. So let's come over here, open his chest, and claim a ring! You got a ring, get it appraised later. Let's also open this tree and claim some rupees! Shh, don't tell. I believe this is 300. Nice. So this abandoned house contains a ghost. Also bombs. Uh, do I need bombs? I think I do. Let's bomb that first. There we go, ten bombs. Oh, I don't have the full bomb upgrade yet. Can you hear my regret? Yes. I worked in library in Labrina a long time ago. Just because I hear secret, I become this. To set it right, I want you to hear secret. 
You're my secret. You understand? Yes. This was secret. Slash close parentheses S Q. Understand? Yes. This is very, very old story. So we now have a secret to tell to somebody in the library in Eyeglass Isle. Now, while we're here, I'm going to come over here and venture into. Hero's Cave. So, the first thing we need to do in Hero's Cave is uh, deal with these bats. Because now we've got a Sokoban puzzle to deal with. Hero's Cave is, for lack of a better term, a gauntlet of combat and puzzle solving. Thinking about it, I don't need that pot. I do, however, need this one. So, let's break all these pots, push this pot onto the switch, and we need to reorganize these blocks so that we can get this pot onto that switch. Which is easier said than done. Can I push this block? I can't push this block. I can push that block. So now we just push this pot down here. No cane of Samaria cheese here, unfortunately. These rollers really don't show up in any other game, do they? guys. Push this roller. Push this guy all the way over here. Like that. And then push that one there. Now, let's solve this puzzle real quick. Push, push, push. Push. Hmm. Push, 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 push. There we go. Hello, goodbye. Cash a seed. Now, this will take you back to the entrance. That will take you deeper into the dungeon. This is a checkpoint. They have those. There's our secret keeper. That's Zora up there. So, let's go say hi to him real quick. Hop, hop, hop. There's a key up there. Grab that key real quick. And now we gotta go talk to... This is Zora. I am traveling the lands under King Zora's orders to find a new domain, but no place exceeds Laburna's seas. So, will you hear my request? Sure. I'd like you to tell this secret and my report to King Zora in Laburna's seas. Understood? Yes. Here's the secret. Zora. Six forward slash close parentheses. Capital W. Pound. Understood? Yes. Thank you. And with that taken care of, we are now going to leave this cave and come back later. We have a key for the dungeon, but that's all we need to do right now. In the meantime, we are now going to go and check to see our secrets real quick. 
point. We do still need uh, the level 7 item. I think we need the level 8 item as well to solve the puzzle. Or solve a puzzle in Hero's Cave. I can't be entirely sure though. Let's say our ring secret here. Say. Two forward slash close parentheses. That's not close parentheses. Uh, that's a plus. No, I think it's a capital or a lowercase t. That's G, I think. Capital F. Club. Lowercase n. Four. Capital Y. Capital F. T. Dollar sign. Tilde. That's wrong! So that must be a six, then. Now that's a G. Or is that a plus? That might be a plus. Hold on. Let's try switching this out with a plus. There we go. Alright, there we go. So now we have our rings from Labrino. Ba, 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 da, ba. Yep, there's a spin ring. We need to show that off. Here, let me show this off real quick. So the way this ring works is you just do a spin attack. Excuse me. You need to put it on first. You do a double spin attack. Simple as. But I kind of want Maple's ring. I don't know if there's a good place to grind for Maple in this game, like there is in Ages. But, you know. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Also, let's check to see if there's anything up in the Maku Tree's crown. Or, uh, I guess, just on his side. No, we've already been up here, then. Hmm. Alright. So... Nothing up there. Let's check our book real quick. King Zora secret. We're missing that secret and that secret. I'm trying to remember where they're at. One of them, I believe... ...is... Oh, Balderdash. I don't actually remember. I mean, there was the one in the house... There was the, the ghost, the library secret. I'll check between my, this recording and the next recording to see where the other two secrets are. Oh, speaking of the devil, hello, Maple. Boink. No heart container here. Ah, you all remember this? Yeah, I'm sure you will. Alright, so one... One thing we can do is actually complete the Red Ring side quest. Not that we really need the ring anymore. Because we've got the Green Ring, and the Green Ring is OP. So the Green Ring is basically the Red Ring plus the Green... Uh, plus the Blue Ring. I think we need to make it... I think we need to make it spring for the uh, the enemy here to appear. There is a golden 
dark nut that appears over on the other side of this, and I think it's in spring. It is in fact in spring. Hello, my good sir, I am here to kick your booty. Come on, thank you. There's also a golden moblin and a golden octorok. The Golden Moblin is over by level 2, and the Golden Octorok is over by the Spool Swamp's Abrosion Portal. Now, in order to get into level 8, we first need to make it summer. Also, it's been a while. Can anybody remind me if I got the heart piece out of the stupid Gasha seed? Or maples, for that matter. Please, in the comments, remind me if I got either of those. Because I don't actually remember. In fact... <sighs> I hate to do this. I literally just got here. We're going back to Tarmarins. It's not even fully grown yet. Am I wearing the right ring? I am wearing the right ring. Okay. I don't have the... I don't have the power. Who gives me the level 3 sword? Who does it? Whoops. There we go. Oh, there we go! <laughs> okay. So, we've got the heart piece from the Gasha Seed. Alright, so... Let's head over to the Woods of Winter real quick since we're in the neighborhood. I believe it is fall. That we need... this. Actually, thinking about it, I think we already got this guy. Yeah, we already got this guy. Alright, so Spool Swamp in... Summer, actually. Spool Swamp in Summer is where we can find... The Golden Octorok. In fact, the Golden Octorok is probably going to be one of the first ones you find just if you explore instead of going straight into... Go away, bug. Instead of going straight into level 3 and you explore south, you're liable to find it. Also, I'm going to put on this. Because this sword can destroy these stupid things. There we go. There's a whole bunch of them here. Excuse me, let me dive, please. This cave is still here. I think we already got what was in this cave. I think it was like money. I think they switched this cave and the other cave. Over here, Golden Octorok. Oh, and a Gasha Nut. I'm pretty sure the bigger on sword is more powerful. Not a ring. More powerful than the level 2 sword. I think it's on par with the level 3 sword. Which, spoiler, there's a level 3 sword. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, we need to go back to Horn Village. And go turn in this mini quest. Okay, don't sing when your voice is cracking. That's a bad idea. Because I just... 
background information, I just finished recording the rest of Ocar or, um, Oracle of Ages. Uh, linked. So I've just finished recording the Seasons Ages playthrough. Because, guess what? It's, um, Labor Day weekend, and I felt like being productive, and all of a sudden there's another maple here, so... Okay. Give oh, she's in a UFO now! I repeat, she's in a UFO. So the thing about the UFO is she's a lot faster now. Ah, you all remember this. But it takes her a little bit when she finally reaches the spot in order to suck the thing up. Rather than it being instant. You have slain all four golden beasts, sir. You are worthy of true power. Take it. You get a ring. Get it appraised later. How you use the power is up to you, but do not be tempted to abuse it. And he vanishes, never to be seen again. The gold rogue man is gone. And so is that guy. Sue. Anyway. I'm trying to remember where the rest of the heart pieces are that we need. Or rather, that where... Rather where the loose ones are. Because there's still a bunch of loose heart pieces out in the world. There's one in the graveyard. And... I'm trying to think of the other ones. Anyway, we've got four rings here. This one is the Rang Ring Level 1. Boomerang damage up. That is actually important because the boomerang actually does damage in this game. We've got the Blast Ring, Bomb Damage Up. This was going to be the ring we got from the chest in the beach? No, this is the one we got from that... The one we got from the chest in the beach is probably the Blast Ring. This is the Green Holy Ring, no damage from electricity. We have this one already. And this is the one we just got from the Gold Guy. This is the Red Ring, Sword Damage Times 2. That's what this ring is, I'll add it to your list. So, as you can see... The red ring, not as better, not as good. Or you know what? Maybe the green ring isn't as good as I thought it was. So maybe it splits the difference between the red ring and the green ring. So it increases it times 0.5. It also decreases damage by 0.5. I would have to do some testing on the red ring versus the green ring. Let's do that. Last act. We're going to do some real quick testing to see how the red ring and the green ring stack up against each other. So, we are going to bully some blue... Dark Nuts. So, this is with the green ring. One, two, three. And then with the red ring. One, two. Okay, so. The red ring gives you the benefit of the power ring level two. With out the downside of the power ring level 2, whereas the blue ring gives you the benefit of the shield ring level 2, or the armor ring level 2, without the downside of the ring or, uh, shield ring level 2. The green ring gives you the benefit of the power ring level 1 without the downside, and the armor ring level 1 without the downside. So... Good to know that the green ring isn't completely overpowered. I mean, I would be happy if it was, because that really doesn't hurt anything. Because, you know, it's a completely random ring, and you could weight it so it like, super rare or something, but... Whatever. Anyway, we're back here on the beach. 
And next time on The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons Linked, we're gonna fall in a hole. Actually, that's this episode. We are going to finally enter Level 7, Explorer's Crypt. But not before finding out where the rest of our secrets are. Till then, this is N520, signing out.